Greetings of the day to all the viewers. My name is Bhavna Sharma. I am a primary teacher at Modern School, Noida. Today I am going to present one of the topic of mathematics. The topic is subtraction. We are going to discuss each and every important aspect of the topic here. Before that, I would like to ask can you guess me a cartoon character's name related to Laddu? Yes, it's Bheem. Bheem loves Laddu. He already has one Laddu in his hand and many more in the balls given here. In total, he has 16 Laddus. As you all know, Chutki is one of his good friend so he has decided to share a few laddus with her as he believes that sharing is caring he gave six laddus to chutki now can you all guess how many laddus are left with bhim out of 16 he gave six to chutki so he is left with 10 laddus subtraction simply means taking away and the answer tells us how much is left just like in bheem's case we have seen that out of 16 bheem was left with 10 ladus sign of subtraction is called minus that you can see here on the screen parts of subtraction the uppermost part which is written as 50 here is called minuend and the number below that which is written as 40 is called subtrahend and the answer which is written as 10 here is called difference. Properties of subtraction. When 0 is subtracted from a number, the difference is the number. For example, 22 minus 0 you will get the same number 22. Next is, when you subtract any number from itself, the difference is 0. Subtraction of two digit number without regrouping. For that, we will give, we'll give heading of one sentence. We will write 9 and 6 under 1's column and 8 and 1 under 10's column. We start subtraction from 1's, 9 minus 6 is 3 so we'll write 3 and under 10s we have 8 minus 1 so 8 minus 1 is nothing but 7 subtraction of three digit number without regrouping again we'll go according to the heading ones tens and hundreds ones 8 minus 1 is equals to 7 let's subtract the tens now 9 minus 8 is equals to 1 7 minus 2 is equals to 5 now we'll see subtraction of two digit number with regrouping regrouping simply means we take borrow in case a number is smaller we'll find difference of these two numbers before that let's give heading of ones and tens in 56 you can easily make out 6 will come under 1's column and 5 under 10's column. In number 17, we can easily find that 7 will come under 1's column and 1 under 10's column. As you can see, 6 is smaller than 7. 7 that means 7 cannot be subtracted from 6. So what we will do, we will regroup 5 tens into 4 tens and 16 ones. Simply, we will take borrow. For that, we will put cross on 6, write 16 above that and then we will put cross on 5 and write 4 above that as it has given one number to 6. Now, 16 minus 7 is equals to 9. So, we will write 9 and Let's subtract the tens. 4 minus 1 is equals to 3. Now we'll regroup the hundreds. For that we have number 455 and 181 here. Let's give the heading of ones, tens and hundreds first. 
and then in 455 we have 5 that will be in the ones column then again we have 5 under tens column and the last one is 4 under hundreds column in 181 we have 1 as ones digit then 8 as tens digit again we have 1 that will be under hundreds column we start with ones 5 minus 1 will simply write as 4 and then at tens you can see 5 is smaller than 8 that means 8 cannot be subtracted from 5 tens so we will regroup 4 hundreds into 3 hundreds and 15 tens for that we'll put cross on 5 and write 15 above that as we have taken borrow and we'll put cross on 4 and write 3 with above that as it is left with 3 only now 15 minus 8 is equals to 7 so we'll write 7 and let's subtract the hundreds and that we have 3 minus 1 is equals to 2 now we will regroup twice and for that we have two numbers 163 from 741 we have heading of one tens and 100 and we have to write 741 first as it is greater than 163 now we'll write 163 below that as subtrahend and then we'll find out the sub difference as you can see 1 is smaller than 3 that means 3 cannot be subtracted from 1 so we will regroup 4 tens into 3 tens and 11 ones for that again we have to put cross on the ones digit which is 1 here and write 11 above that and we'll put cross on 4 as it is left with 3 only 11 minus 3 is 8 now at tens you can easily see that 3 is smaller than 6 again we have to take borrow for that we will regroup 7 hundreds into 6 hundreds and 13 tens for that we'll put 1 before 3 and write it 13 and then we'll put cross on 7 and write it as 6 we'll do simple subtraction now 13 minus 6 is 7 and 6 minus 1 under hundreds is equals to 5 now we have a situation here there are 453 books in our library they are either in english or in french if 126 book 127 are in english then how many are written in French? It's a word problem. So let's give heading 1, 10s and 100 first. And then we'll start with first statement, total number of books, which are 453. And then we'll write books written in English language, which are 127. So as you know, books are written either in English or in French. So after finding the difference, we can easily find the number so number of books written in Fr french so as you can see three is smaller than seven so we'll put cross on three and write 13 here and 13 minus 7 is 6 we'll put cross on 5 as it is left with 4 only so 4 minus 2 is 2 and at hundreds we can see digits are simple which is 4 minus 1 so we will write 4 minus 1 is equals to 3 so my dear children this is all for this topic i have today and i really hope that each and every topic is very very well clear to you all thank you